We came to ask you if you wanted to come on a picnic. Love to. And your timing is perfect. <laughs> Bluster's like having a whole damn... <laughs> Bluster's face is just a journey in this scene. F*** you, Bluster. If the crystal coconut is as wise as I think it is, it could show me a way to get Candy to love me. Oh, oh, oh God. He sees you across the bar. He's like, I ordered you a drink. Bluster's the kind of guy that after he's done hanging out at a convention, where's my hug? I came here to talk, Cranky. Isn't that what friends are for? Yes, you're right. But that still doesn't explain why you're here. <laughs> oh, Cranky's such a f***ing asshole. And also, I can't. <laughs> you know how I feel about Candy, right? More importantly, I know how she feels about you. <laughs> that doesn't change my concern for Candy's well-being. Oh, really? That is that what you're concerned about, Bluster? Worry about how uh, she's doing? The only way she can be happy is if she's with you, huh? It's interesting how you figure that all out for her without conversing with her. Interesting. 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 